Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to continue learning to add fractions. Now we're going to get into what do we need to do if the fractions that we want to add together do not have the same denominator. Remember I told you over and over again that the denominators of fractions that you wish to add have to have the same bottom number, the same denominator. So what would happen if we had a fraction like this? What if we just really wanted to add together uh, 1 sixth? and we wanted to add to that the fraction 1 half, right? Well, the first thing you do, it doesn't matter that I'm writing it like this or I'm writing it horizontal, it's the same sort of thing. The first thing you do is you check, are the denominators the same? And in this case, they're not the same, so you cannot just add them. You know, a lot of students will start adding these numbers together and adding these numbers together, and you just can't do that. You have to have the same denominator in order to proceed. But the good news is we know how to change the way fractions look. We know how to change fractions because we know that we can multiply or divide a fraction by anything we want as long as we're doing it to the top and to the bottom. So what we need to do somehow is manipulate these fractions so that we have the same bottom number. Right? Now let me ask you this, and just kind of we'll just go from, go from there. What if I transform this bottom fraction, which is one half? What if I transform it? You know, we already said we can do anything we want to it as long as we do it to the top and the bottom. What if I multiply by 3 on the bottom and 3 on the top? Why would I do that? Because I know that 2 times 3 is 6, and that's going to give me a bottom number of 6, which is the same as what the other fraction is. I'm trying to get a common denominator. So when I do this, what I'm going to have then, on the top, 1 times 3 is 3, and on the bottom, 2 times 3 is 6. So what we're saying is 1 half is exactly the same fraction as 3 sixths, and that makes sense. Think about it in terms of pizza. 3 out of 6 pieces of pizza is the same as 1 out of 2 pieces of pizza. Yeah, the size of the pieces are different, but the total pizza represented for both of those is really exactly the same thing. All right. So we do our fraction uh, manipulation uh, trick to get... 3 6. Now we're trying to add to it the fraction that we haven't really changed from before, which is 1 6. 1 6. Right? So how do we do that? Well, we know that the bottom number is, this, is a 6, and that's going to be carried through to the answer, so we'll just put a 6 down here. And then we take 1 plus 3, because we add fractions by adding the numerators, which would give us 4 6. And we could circle that as our answer, but then we ask ourselves, is that fully simplified? And the answer is that it's not really fully simplified. We can divide the, the top by 2, and we can divide the bottom by 2 as well. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. The answer is 2 thirds. So there's a very specific procedure to adding fractions. When the denominators are not equal, when they're not the same number, then you can do whatever you want to either one of those fractions in order to bring the denominators to be the same. Once they're the same, you just add them just like we've been doing before. So all of the steps after that are exactly the same as what we've been doing for adding fractions. The only thing we're adding here is we have to manipulate one of these fractions in order to make the denominator um, the same as the other fraction. We know that 2 times 3 is 6, that's why we're doing this, and we have to multiply the top by 3 also to keep the fraction equivalent. Then we simply add the fractions as usual. All right. Now, one thing I want to tell you is, in this, in this case, we chose to change this fraction to a 6. When we found the common denominator here, that's actually called 